about the skewer, the tactical weapon, which we will study in detail. It's actually one form of double attack. So the attacker attacks two pieces, but in a special form. When the two pieces in a line, they can be on a, the same file, or same rank, or same diagonal. But compared to a normal double attack, where in double attack sometimes the piece, the attacker is in between the two other pieces. In, in, in the skewer normally the defenders are on the same file, but they are close to each other. So, for example, here black to move, black the rook move here, and you know double attack. They are atta it's attacking both pieces. Attacks the king, and actually it's kind of called also like an X-ray attack. We will look at that later. So through the body of the king, the queen also attacked. And one of and this called also the absolute skewer because the king is involved, so the king need to go away, and then will the attacker win material. There is the relative relative skewer when it's not forced to move away because it's just a piece. He can give up that piece and move other piece. But with the king it's an absolute skewer. So let's look. If, if I am right, yeah, this is the solution. So check need to go and we capture the queen. So if you go back, so when there's a skewer, this is how it looks like. There is an attacking piece, an attacker, and there are like like in a real life skewer actually, <laughs> which we use like for for cooking. You put on the skewer like two things, like three things, except like this is the base. Like if you would make a big skewer, like the attacker is the base, and on the top of that there are the two attacked pieces. Of course the king could be also like maybe d4, that would be still a skewer, but if the king would move like to d8, then it would be a double attack. It's not a skewer. The important is that the attacker is not in between the two attacked pieces, but from far away the together the attack pieces are. Okay, let's go for the next one. Black to move. Ah, okay, so we got some puzzles where it's really not directly a skewer, so we move here first, and here comes the skewer actually. Probably you already remember maybe from the last one, which could be the solution here. So the solution is, yeah, if you are watching this video, just please stop the video and uh, when you have the solution then click on continue, and click on play. So that way you can use it as a learn for and a tool for active learning. So here comes the check. So this rook in line with the two attack pieces and it's, it's actually an absolute skewer because the king need to go away. And then we need this one. Okay, wonderful. So let's go for for the next one. Why to move? Again, we are first solving and looking a few absolute skewers. Again, you know. One warning sign for a possible skewer, if the opponent has two pieces on the same file, same file or same, like this is here, the same or the same rank or same diagonal, which is not here. But uh, now we have actually two pieces on the same rank, so it shows the skewer is how it goes. The attacker moves to the same rank where the attacked pieces are. And that makes the skewer check. Sure. Okay, let's go to continue to look. So why to move? So let's try to find a way how I said. So if we find something on the 
two pieces on the same phi, ren, or diagonal. Okay, these are they are the same rank, so maybe we can make a skewer from this direction. Ah, actually, this will be nice. It's the skewer first. Ah, and they did not continue because this would be nice. Let me show you how this would if we go deeper. So here we come. And if queen can still protect the knight, so we can play queen g5, but actually then comes the really deadly skewer by rook g4, attacking the queen and the king in the same time, and there is no escape from that skewer. Okay, let's go for the next one. So here comes an under skewer. Let's look the black pieces on the same rank, so probably we can build up a skewer from that way. So I think queen g8. King need to go away and we win the queen. Okay, next one. I guess now it's it's easy to recognize the skewer. You just look the pieces, and if there's if there are any pieces on the same phi rank or diagonal, and then you try to put your piece on the same phi rank or diagonal to skewer them, like here, the rook and the king on the same rank. So we put there our rook and g4 because the knight protects our rook. And we win it. Okay, again, look if there are two pieces. No, it's on the same. Yeah, they are in the same file now. So let's draw a skewer. If we can put the rook, yeah, we can put actually there on the same same file. And we win it. Ah, okay, just capture, let me just take it back. Let me just capture that one. Okay, let's look again. If there are pieces on the same, yeah, they are in the same rank. Nothing else I see, in the same file, the same diagonal. Ah, okay, so the skewer actually can be used for some other stuff. Was well, not only just winning a piece, but actually here also it's winning a piece, but it's making even more than just winning a piece. You know, the queen and the pawn is on the same file, so we can skewer them by moving the rook here. And actually, that's that's a winning the queen because if the queen moves, then the queen takes h3 to checkmate. It's forced to sacrifice the. Because of the checkmate. Okay, let's go for the next one. Ah, okay, so we looked until now skewers on ranks and files, and here comes the first one on a diagonal. So you look, there are two pieces on the same diagonal. We may make a skewer on the diagonal if we can put one of our pieces on the diagonal. Actually, one important truth also, like only line pieces can make a skewer. So only bishops, rooks, or queens they can make a skewer. Like a pawn, a knight, or a king cannot make a skewer. Only bishops, rooks, and queens. Here comes the bishop move, and it means the queen.
Okay, so here starts a little bit, be a little bit maybe more challenging ones. One move, just one move, challenging ones, longer. So how will this come? How will this come? That's the question. You know they are in the same rank, so you can make make a skewer, and yeah, that's it. Actually, force him to give time. So we win time by this chunk, and then here comes the skewer. Okay, let's do a few a few more one again. The skewer is possible when there are pieces on the same five rank or diagonal. It's the same five, but probably cannot make a skewer here. But also they are on the same diagonal, and that looks like a good skewer for the bishop. But first we need to solve the rook problem, so probably we take it, and then we can make the skewer. So here comes the square bishop e2. And the rook need to move and then the knight will be captured. Okay, let's go forward. Another nice diagonal skewer. The same diagonal. So bishop comes. Oh, this is beautiful. Actually, this needs some imagination. This exercise. We need to look also all the possible sacrifices, captures, checks. Actually, there are like three pieces on the same rank, so maybe make a skewer. Yeah, the knight on c3 spin. Okay, so we take the knight, and then this rook comes here to b1, and that will make the skewer. Yeah, this is nice. So queen sacrifice for the for the skewer. Look how it goes. So something similar or actually the King is a little bit in danger. So this should be the the skewer. Yeah, look, take C one. Probably if. Check, go away. Check, go away. So maybe just saves it. Yeah. Yeah, even it looks dangerous, but probably it's it's still okay. If you go back. 
taking make a skewer and then we have time to escape. What to do now? This looks looks nice. What would you do here? That's the question. Okay, so bishop takes here, because then there will be the skewer. There are two white pieces on the same diagonal. And we take it. Take and win it. Why to move? They are in the same diagonal. There are a few possible skewer possibilities, same diagonal, same file. Yeah, and actually this the first one is working. Check, look. Oh. King cannot go. The light squares because of the bishop, so it's being the queen and if g5 then queen takes h6, that's a checkmate. Yeah, here we are. This check is really powerful. Ah, thank you, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you very much. So what will you do? What will we do next? Okay, let's go just for the next one. Again, why to move? Ooh, this is the real skewer. Yeah, they are in the same rank at least, but no, nothing else. So probably this will be maybe a skewer. The next move. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I think this is a check to force him to the h5 and then we can make a skewer with the queen attacking both of the pieces. Yeah, that's it probably. And we need the rook. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is it. If the queen goes to f4, then it comes a check. That's a strong check. Really strong check. King takes f3. And then rook f2, that would be... Uh, let me just show you. On this board. Yeah, actually I was thinking of this, this, this. And then another strong skewer comes to win the queen. But there are possibilities to go for the checkmate instead. To make a double attack to win the. Problem is forcing, forcing, and then queen g4 checkmate comes. Wow. Okay, let's go for the next one. Maybe three more from this, and then we go for some harder ones. So why to move? We first look if there are pieces on the same rank. Yeah, there are. 
or in the same diagonal, and if you can use that somehow. Yeah, we don't have a bishop or a queen which can make a square on diagonal, so we should use the rook on the rank, the eight rank check. Okay, wonderful. Let's go for the next one. Two more. Well, will be this a skewer or something else? Actually, the trapeze is on the same diagonal, but we cannot make a skewer, I think, something like this. Ah, okay. First, we make this move. And now you know we can make a skewer against those two pieces. And they are in the same file, so we can put a line piece, a rook, on f8. And that means they have to rook. Check me to go away. But here it comes. Okay. Let's go for the next one. One more from these easier ones. Okay, yeah, they are in the same same file, so I guess we need to attack it, <laughs> attack them, then take the knight. That wow, this is that simple. <laughs> Let's take a quick look on this over here. Yeah, if he tries to defend, that's the question. Then probably the other rook also comes, and if he still wants to defend. An interesting knight comes here. It's pinned, but he can make a tempo. But yeah, then it comes the intermediate or sufficient to, to save the queen, and then black means the queen. Okay, so black means a knight, or if white tries to save the knight, then, then black wins even a queen. So just attacking and it's we we'll run out of run out of squares. Okay. Wonderful. So let's go. Let's go a little bit harder. Runs from maybe let's say from thousand two thousand two hundred so twelve hundred. So why to move, try to find the skewer? Wow, this is a beautiful skewer, actually. You look, the pieces are on the same diagonal. And you can use, actually, that, the bishop. Yeah, this way we win the, win the queen. So the bishop can skewer the king and the queen. Okay, another skewer comes. They are in the same diagonal or they are in the same file. Which would you use? As a possibility. Okay, so rook d8. This way we put on the same file the, the rook where there is the white queen and the rook. Queen need to go away, so we take the rook. So this is a skewer. The elements of the skewer, the, the skewering piece and the skewered pieces. When there are Two pieces in the same file, rank or diagonal, they can be skewered, skewered pieces, because 
we can draw a skewer actually here to put them all and then we add one more opponent piece and then it's, it's ready the skewer motif. Okay, here it comes. Ah, that's an interesting way of skewering. Actually, yeah, the rook attacks the war pieces, but it's. I think that actually this. I would more call this a double attack or a discovered attack. Yeah, it's especially it's a discovered attack because the pawn was covering the attack of the rook against the queen, and by this move it's discovered. Now it's more like a double attack actually, because the queen need to move and then the pawn will take the pawn will take the knight. So yeah, I, I would more say it's, it's a double attack, not, not a real skewer. Okay, this is also it's kind of a complex of motifs, so not just one motif here, but more than one. But what we can see, same diagonal, the rook and the knight is on the same diagonal, so we may skewer them on this diagonal. Actually, that's the move we should see six, but it's also kind of like a discovered check, discovered attack. Okay, let's go for the next one. How can we skewer them? Oh, this is nice. This is a little bit longer than just one move. Yeah, they are on the, on the same rank, but that we cannot really use. But we can force the king actually to go out until d3 and there we make the skewer against the rook and the king. Check. Another check. Trends. And there, uh, here we are, and it's just just ready. Okay, let's go for the next one. There are the same, there are pieces on the same rank, of course, yeah, there are some other things, also the same diagonals, so all of those are kind of like a potential skewer, can be, or I just draw some, some skewers on this, but probably rook a7, which works here. Because then capture in there. So actually we are skewering the queen and the knight. We give up a rook for a bishop and a knight. Okay, that's a good business actually for us. Okay, so what would be the next one? Here, ah, yeah. Again, I think actually we are forcing the king to the under rank, and then we can skewer the king and the queen. So this is also kind of a little bit deeper, not not a direct way. Okay, well, how would you make a skewer here? So, I think the rooks are on the same diagonal. The 
are also the rook and the queen is on the same diagonal so we can make a square maybe from here from there or maybe something like this the rook and the king okay so let's look at any of those or it will be something more not something different because i don't really see them to be that strong like bishop b5 just captures but anyway also black has just so much so huge material again two pounds and the rook against the knight so white need to Win at least a piece or go for checkmate. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, this is super nice. Wow. Okay, let me go for fast forward to the motif. So we forced him to go out. And here starts, starts the first cure. And this will be beautiful. So we make a decoy tactics also here. We take the rook, king cannot take because then the rook lost. Pound takes, then we, we do make this absolute skewer, which is which the queen. Okay, wonderful. Wow, let's, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, giving checks is maybe relatively easy. And then comes in check, protects. You need to protect other way. If the king moves, then we just take the rook for free, free rook. Take the rook and then look here comes this check to, to win the queen. Okay, wonderful. Let's do two more and then we go a bit harder ones. Hmm, like to move. And then that, there are a few geometry, like possible skewers in the same cell, the same range, same diagonals. Hmm. This for this kind of position normally we would have a bishop with a fade. Ah, okay, but just it. Okay, I just said, you know, this is a way to skewer the king and the rook. Yeah, check. Yeah, this, this looks really nice. for the last one from this this level and then we go a little bit higher okay this is just probably in the queen in the skewer they are the same same rank okay let's go from 1200 to 1400 Probably they are harder, but not always. So now we can make a skewer, I guess, for this, these two pieces. On the A file. Oh, and then we get a new queen. Yeah, I am showing these ideas and solving this level of puzzles because hopefully this helps for other viewers to to improve their skills and be familiar with the motif called skewer. And also this is like a review for me. Later we'll go and solve much more complicated ones. But I want to have a series of, uh, of training sessions where I go over all the different tactical tools. 
we already have one training session on disco world attack and then one another one on the double attack and today we are working on the skewer okay let's go Okay, another skewer actually. The check we forced them on the same rank, and here comes the skewer. Ooh, this is this is interesting. So Sometimes can be dangerous. Could they be both queen and then probably there will come there will come a skewer. Ah sorry the, the pawn goes that way. Or not? Yeah, actually the pawn goes that way and the white pawn goes this way. Okay. Okay, then it's clear, you know, actually. This, this is a really typical method in pawn and games when both are queening and then comes a, a skewer tactic to win the queen. So you should be always careful when you are calculating a pawn and game and both of you queen. So but somebody is just happy to say, oh, okay, this is good, it's draw equal, I got a queen also and my opponent got a queen. But it's really important to continue to calculate until after that. Because it can be sometimes you are losing or sometimes you are winning. Because there is a tactics just after they both queened. And here comes the check, forcing to the A file. And the skewer means the queen. Okay, let's go for the next one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a really interesting kind of like a Skewer and pin all together. So what should we do, actually? Oh, la, la. GM Go Refund is now following. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy also my stream. So rook takes d6, yeah, because it skewers the rook and the queen, because they are on the same. And here comes an intermediate switch, switch and chug. So an intermediate move, you first you capture and then you take the queen. Swish and two, yeah, it's called an intermediate move. So instead of just capturing the queen back, we win a rook before first. Okay. And the queen also pinned, so we can. 
can move only on that diagonal. Okay, white to move, white to move. Okay, this is a nice. He starts to check, and then here comes the skewer, and they are on the same rank. You can skewer them, and actually, at the same time, stop the pound from behind. This is also an important idea in the rook end games. You should try to put your rook behind the opponent's pawns when you are defending, and also, actually behind your pawns when you try to push the pawns. Okay. So black to move, what can we do? Actually it looks hmm. Just first I'm looking maybe like a skewer here. Yeah, so maybe with a check and then goes for this or any other skewers? Oh, actually it's nice, it's nice, this is a check, and then comes the skewer. Yeah, my concern was if, what if he is not taking it with the palm, but see what happens, if he is not taking with the palm by just moving out with the king, then bishop h4 still wins because the h2 square is covered by the knight, so the queen has no square to run away. So check and captures and comes the skewer. Okay, let's go for the next one. So make a skewer. Okay, looks like looks like this is a key. So actually we can use that, capture, and now comes the skewer, now comes the skewer. Yeah, I'm doing also this to prepare for upcoming tournaments for the Grandmaster title, which hopefully I will be able to do in April, I think, starting in April. So skewer time, check, and this makes the skewer. So actually this is the skewer when there are two opening pieces on the same diagonal or file or rank and then we have, we put an attacker on the same, same line to attack both of them. Okay, this is nice. Actually, we will make two skewers in this combination. They are in the same, pieces are in the same rank. You take with the rook first, so this is the first skewer. The king is forced to take and now we can make a, another skewer. And now the distance is bigger between the king and the queen, so the king cannot go back like it was before possible to protect the queen. So you will check and win the queen. So 
So this was the first skewer. But actually, this is also a decoy sacrifice. First, force the white king to the to the worst square, where black can follow up with an attack. Okay, let's go for the next one. Black to move. Okay, probably first you need to solve this problem of a check. Hmm, it's not easy, but you know, I, I, I see a skewer like here with this check. This would be a nice skewer. The bishop cannot take because it's pinned by the queen. But yeah, it's check. So it's if c6 that looks reasonable i have queen takes b7 and we take the bishop okay that's it so you need to go back to protect the bishop and here comes the skewer Yeah, this, this looks reasonable, reasonably good for now. Again, it's not yet a skewer position because they are not on the same fire rank or diagonal. Maybe we can force them actually. And probably that happens to some. The skewer not always winning a piece or giving checkmate, but sometimes it can be also a tool to remove an important piece and win with something else. Like here it comes, I think, a check. We remove. Ah, that's interesting. I've seen. And remove it. And then actually the king, actually the pawn and game would be winning. Check. So with this cure we are forcing a pawn and game. Which would win. Yeah, white can actually do something much because the first the black king goes forward to to win the territory, it's need to reach one of those squares on the third rank with the king, because then the pawn and game is winning no matter what white will do. Just we just push the pawn until it reaches the fourth rank, and here you need to check if you can move the pawn or the best if you can just uh, reach one of go forward with the king one of those squares. So like here, force him to give up the square, and then it queens. Okay, so the skewer can be also a tool to exchange pieces to a winning endgame. Like here it's. And it wins. Okay. Let's look some even harder ones. From fourteen hundred to sixteen hundred. So black to move. Hmm. Is this really a skewer? Ah, oh, it's in the end it will be a skewer. So first we start with a double attack, which we studied in the last video. The last, last stream, last training session, the knight. No, when there are opponent pieces which are on the same rank or file, and and three squares between them, that's a warning sign for a possible knight fork, which here comes with knight d1. So first, he captured it, so it's forcing him to capture the knight to win back, and here comes the skewer. They are on the same. Diagonal, 
so we can skewer them. Check. Okay, so it's nice. So first it starts the double attack, and later comes the, the skewer here. Oh wow, this skewer actually, this is a, a skewer which is absolutely essential, you know, in the, if you play the rook end games. This is a typical winning skewer when you have pawn just one square from, from queening and the rook in front of it. And the opponent's rook is behind. Or it can be also like on the, on the second rank with the same tactic, but now the the rook moves far away, that way it's threatening to push the pawn and queen, so it's actually the opponent, defender is forced to capture the pawn, and then we, are re we will reach a position when the opponent's two pieces on the same rank, as you look, that's a warning sign for a skewer, so the king and the rook is on the same rank, and then we can skewer them from the other direction. Is forced to take and then check in the rook. Okay, let's look at the next one. So black knows if we can find a skewer here, or we will maybe need to work a little bit until we get the skewer. Okay, this is actually the skewer will come soon. So we can give I think a check. He is not forced to go back. One way and then the rook comes. It's a skewer if it goes to c2, if it's on e2, then it's a double attack. Yeah, this should be, I think. So after the check, we force him to, the, to a position where we can make the skewer. This way. The king will move to e2 still rook d2 would be the winning move. But that that way that time it's, we call it a double attack, which we studied in the last training session. Okay, let's go for the next one. Ah I guess now you are familiar with the with this one. <laughs> we looked very same one in the rook end game, you know. We have a pound just one square from queening, we have a rook front of it. The opponent's king on the other side, far away, and the rook behind the pawn. So here we are ready for making a skewer on the second rank. We move the rook so he's forced to take it to, to avoid my avoid our queening move. And then here comes the skewer. Okay, let's go for the next one. Let's look how can we can we skewer something here? Maybe this is not that hard. You know there are two pieces on the same rank. One of them is undefended. That's always also a warning sign for possible combinations, all kind of combinations. If the opponent has an undefended piece or a piece which is attacked and defended on the same number of times, that's very also very similar to an undefended piece. So here comes I'll probably just give a check and skewer the king and the bishop. Okay, he's threatening checkmate, so we probably defender, defend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go forward, next one.
white to move the cast look for like there should be like one skewer yeah probably that's it because after the capture if he is not taking the bishop but goes out probably maybe that's better to go out of that skewer motif then we just take take the c1 bishop and and then white is up a, up a bishop for just one pawn okay, but then comes the skewer okay, let's look a few more so black to move well how can we make a skewer here <laughs> probably we should somehow force the king to the same file rank or diagonal as the look the queen probably we should somehow force the king here and then we make a skewer like that with the queen from e1 how can we do that i actually we can do that quite easily we give a check with the bishop and yeah, well, no no other squares available only we should move to the e file and then we we make it happen with the queen. Mm -hmm. Check and wow. Okay. Let's go for the next one. Okay, this is I think a relatively easy one. Again, you look the possible skewer ske 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 motif. They are in the same rank. We need to actually remove the defender. So we make a deflection. Force it to give up and then we can do the skewer. Okay, let's go for maybe we can do like two more probably. Okay, white to move. So what would you do here with white? Look, this looks like a skewer for me the diagonal yeah and actually we can do we can by capturing the bishop we can gain time and then the, our bishop comes we can make the skewer yeah so capture and here comes the skewer Okay, let's look one more. At least one more we look if you can. Well, okay, actually, we can give a check to force him to the same rank as the queen, and then we can skewer them with the with the rook. Yeah, that, should, that looks good. So, say we will win the. Check. Here it comes. Okay, wonderful. So maybe a few words or so about me. In my current situation, I am Attila Turzo, currently an international chess master, and I decided to go for the grandmaster title and share my journey with uh, all other 
chess fans. Also my training methods, my my tournament games, and doing so I am making also live streams on Twitch and also I am uploading videos to YouTube so can share also the knowledge with others. Yeah, please feel free to write a comment what you like, what you don't like, what you would like to what you would like me to do to improve the streams, but also what topics maybe you would like me to cover. Actually first time making a series on the different tactical tools. We already studied the discovered attack, the double attack and the skewer in this training session. So you can just send leave a message or leave a comment on YouTube or on Twitch which would you like to be the next one for tomorrow. If you would like to support my journey and also the stream and the channel, feel free to, to follow the channel first of all. If you are a follower and would like to, to give a higher level of support, then please subscribe. And if you would like to do even higher level of support, then please send in a donation by the, by the link which you can find on my yes. on my page on Twitch or on my YouTube channel or normally this is also in the, in the video descriptions. just send in the links for it where you can sub and also the link for the donation yeah thank you very much for the support hope to See you all tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for your support again. Bye-bye.